here we have a cutaway view of an E47. I cut the sump base to show the passageway, uh, the high pressure passageway. The fluid leaves the gear pump, goes through the pump check valve, through this passageway, to the high pressure filter on the front of the sump base. From there, it passes through the B valve and then the C valve onto the passenger side angle ramp. That's the default flow of fluid. I'm going to move the camera to give you a better view. As I was saying, the fluid leaves the gear pump through this passageway, passes through the high pressure filter into the B valve, which is not energized, passes through the C valve, which is also not energized, to this port here where you have a swivel hose in the original correct configuration, out to the passenger side angle ram, making the plow go left. Left is default. To raise the plow, the fluid would leave the gear pump through the high pressure filter to the B valve, which is energized, sending all of the fluid into the lift cylinder, raising the plow. To angle the plow right, the fluid again leaves the gear pump through the pump check valve, through the high pressure filter, to the B valve, to the C valve, which is energized, diverting all the fluid to this port, which normally uh, has a swivel elbow and it goes to the driver's side angle ram which angles the plow to the right. So as I mentioned this is the high pressure port. This filters all of the fluid leaving the gear pump on its way into the system. The lower filter on the front of the sump base only filters fluid that is returning from the cylinder as the plow ram, lift ram, goes down. It filters the fluid before it passes through the A valve in the back and then returns into the reservoir. This is the original E47 sump base design. As you can see it's got no drain plug. It does have the lower filter port that filters the fluid from the lift cylinder as it returns to the reservoir and it also has the high pressure filter located in the same location. This one you can see somebody tapped the hole larger and forced a bolt into the hole and they put some blue RTV, Permatex sealer, whatever you want to call it, silicone to try to seal it. The E47 set at spec should produce 1650 PSI. That's a lot of pressure to expect a bolt to hold back along with RTV silicone. The other reason you can't do this and expect the pump to function properly is because now you're putting threads into the cavity and there's a chance that you can block the flow of fluid where it's coming in the side of the port from the gear pump. So this is why when you see this the best thing to do is change the sump base. This is the original E47 design sump base that I was just talking about the wrong size, or should I say oversized bolt in the filter port where it does not belong, you'll notice that this one has four ports. Most E47s only have three. Why does this one have four? One, two, three, four. Because it could also be used with the E48 power angle block that has four ports. This is one you don't see every day. Four valves instead of three. This one was used for a back plow. There's actually sales literature from Meyer floating around from back in the olden days um, showing an E48 uh, being used on a scout with a back plow, sometimes called the pole plow, rear plow, whatever you want to call it. So long before everybody else, Meyer had it.